Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to our Charlotte Tilbury YouTube Live Masterclass. We're so excited to have you here today in our series of our 10 iconic looks. So today's class is all about how to get the rebel look. So I hope you guys are fans of green because I am. My name is actually Rashina Green no joke and i am the digital events manager for charlotte tilbury in north america and i'm based out of southern california in san diego um i just moved here from los angeles super excited to be back home and i would love to know in the chat where everybody is joining from i do see people already putting in germany france usa washington dc london Amazing. So excited to have all my friends here. If you're just now joining, pop in where you're calling in from and we're going to get started here in just a moment. If this is your first time to one of our master classes, I have my amazing partner, LL. She is Team Tilbury in the chat and she's going to be listing links to the products that I'm talking about. Um, hi, Jamie. Hello. Oh, you're in San Diego too, Elena neighbors. So if you are loving a product, click the link. It'll take you to charlottetilbury.com. Feel free to add these products to your baskets. Um, I will say, you know, some products might be sold out. We might have products that are available in sets. So feel free to click and shop live. We have had products sell out in the past. So if you're loving something, do not wait. Hello in the Netherlands and Connecticut. Amazing. Hello in Italy. Um, so Without further ado, we're going to get right into it because last time I was super chatty and we ran out of time. Well, we went over time, should I say. So a little bit about myself. I've been with Charlotte for almost six years and I've had the opportunity to work side by side with her um, backstage during fashion week, during um, runway shows. So I'm really excited to share all of the tips and tricks that the Queen of Glow shared with me with all of you. Um, a little bit about Charlotte, if you don't know who she is, is she's the world's number one makeup artist. And she's been in the industry for almost 30 years. So she obviously started as, you know, a toddler, it seems looking amazing as she is. And the reason she looks amazing is because of our award winning skincare. So believe it or not, we are a color line known for our skincare. And Charlotte always says a beautiful painting starts with a beautiful canvas. So as you can see, I have no makeup on. You guys are seeing me in my true form. So feel some sort of way about that but my skin actually looks really amazing because in the last uh, almost six years of Charlotte I have been using her award-winning magic cream as you can see I'm almost out of it fun little fact these are actually refillable so you'll see when you buy these it's in a glass container which is really lovely and then there's gonna be a little opening here and you can just pop it right out like so and then you can purchase the refill, which is a little bit um, cheaper, which is really great. Uh, Charlotte has always been um, really big into sustainability. So we want to make sure we're, you know, leaving behind a footprint that is good for everybody. So not only are you going to look good, but you're going to feel good for being sustainable. So I'm just using about this much of the magic cream and I'm going to apply this all over my face. Oh, can I tell you, I have been waiting for this class all morning. It's early here in San Diego. It's about 10 a.m. And my skin has been so dry. But I was like, okay, I got to apply this magic cream in front of everybody. So here I am, my bare skin. I will say that I did use a bit of her um, magic serum before this because I just couldn't be that bare. So right now I'm just starting off with angel wings, applying it and blending it from the center out. And now I'm doing what Charlotte likes to call her magic massage. So I don't know about you, but do you ever wake up in the morning and your face is really puffy, maybe a little bit swollen? You've got a few extra chins than you want. This is going to really help with that lymphatic drainage so that it carves out that jaw, carves out those cheeks, depuffs the face. Mm, I feel like it's already clearing my sinuses, to be honest. And then the last thing we're going to do is the Tilbury tap. And this brings blood back to the surface of the face, which we know when there's blood on the surface of the face, it helps with circulation and it helps build collagen, helping you stay youthful as long as possible. And I will say as a woman, almost 40 years old, I have been using again, Charlotte's magic cream for the, almost the past six years. And my skin has never 
looked better. You can see my freckles here, but I love the hyaluronic acid in the Magic Cream for hydration. I love the organic aloe vera to control my redness. I love the vitamins, you know, C and E, for, I like to say lightening, brightening, and tightening. So now that I have my Magic Cream on, I'm going to jump right into my foundation. Um, hello, everybody. I'm seeing all my friends here, Arizona. Jamie, you're born in San Diego too, Bubble Hospital, Navy Hospital, cool, that used to be my hospital. So I'm going to start with Charlotte's Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So if you've never tried this, it's a must have. This is a full coverage foundation and what's great about it is all of her products are skincare infused. So this actually has a built-in serum in the foundation. So what that means is... There's an ingredient called Replexium. Here I have, oops, a little bit of a my foundation here. The Replexium builds collagen. So as we get a little bit older, our skin elasticity sort of, you know, doesn't work as great as it did when we were in our teens and in our 20s. So what's fantastic about this foundation is it's for literally, literally everybody 8 to 108. So you're going to go ahead and apply this and you can instantly see beautiful before and beautiful after. And I'm just applying it with my Magic Complexion Brush. I love this guy because it's going to blend into my skin. It's gonna buff out in any fine lines or areas that have texture. Here, would you just like look at the difference of this? Amazing. So not only is this full coverage, it's long wearing, it's waterproof. My friend actually does makeup for you know, an artist you might have heard of named Lizzo. And this is her favorite foundation to wear on stage, or it's the favorite foundation my makeup artist friend, Alex Mayo, likes to use on her. Because when she is on stage and she's performing and she's sweating and she's dancing, this foundation will not budge. She will look flawless from start to finish of her show. And if you're in Europe, she's on her European leg. So when you, if you go to one of her shows and you're like, why does she look so flawless? Just know that she's wearing a lot of Charlotte Tilbury. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to do my forehead here. I finished my brows already, so I'll be mindful of this. I will say if you need help selecting a color, you can always go on charlottetilbury.com and we do have some shade finders. You can um, help choose your color. You can also book an appointment with our team Tilbury and they'll help you select a shade, which is always really nice. Uh, just a little fun fact about this foundation is it has a dry down time of about three to five minutes and when it dries down it dries down a little bit deeper so I always like to tell people that like sometimes when you put it on this actually seems a little bit lighter than me right but as we're going I like to say it's gonna cook it's gonna cook on my face it's gonna get a little bit warmer and then it's gonna be my true shade so just be mindful of that too when you're picking your color that you pick one um, that's just a slightly a little bit brighter because it will dry down into a beautiful shade that matches you perfectly. And we have different undertones as well. Oh, I just answered your question. So we have warm tones, which is what I have on right now. So that's if you're more golden skin or maybe there's a little more olive in your skin. We have cool tones. So if you have a little bit of rosiness in your skin or maybe a little pink, that's what you would use. And then we have neutrals. So if you sort of sit right in the middle, you're not too olive and you're not too rosy. I like to say one apple, one banana. That's our neutral shades. All right. Is there a way to get a uh, match before buying? You could if you, I mean, if you go into a Charlotte Tilbury counter, if you have one of those in your area, that's probably the best way. Um, you could always buy and return or exchange if you need to as well. Okay, so my foundation's on. I didn't put any underneath the eyes, as you can see, because I'm going to be putting our Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. And I use the sh shade 8. So I'm going to put a little bit in the corner and a little bit on the side. And this is what we call our eye lift effect. You can also use this concealer, um, you know, to spot treat any areas that require a little more coverage. Because my foundation, the airbrush, was already a full coverage, I don't really need additional coverage. I do get a little hyperpigmentation around my mouth, so I might add a little bit there. But I love this concealer because it's a brightening concealer. Do you ever wear concealers and you're just kind of like, oh, that sort of matches my skin or it looks a little dull? What's great about Charlotte's concealer is there's like 
this brightening effect underneath the eyes. So it's just going to look super beautiful, super lifted. It's going to hide any of that appearance of dark circles or puffiness because I tend to have what I like to call designer bags underneath my eyes. So now you have that lifted brightening effect right here. You can put them on your lids too if you want to. However, Rashika, ooh, that name is similar to mine, Rashina and Rashika. This um, Charlotte's Luxury Palettes have a built-in primer already in it. So you do not need to necessarily put concealer on your eyelids. However, if you do have discoloration on your eyelids, sometimes people have like a little hyperpigmentation, you can absolutely put it on there. And you know what, because you asked, I will do that for you. I don't have super high hyperpigmentation, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of the concealer right there. And I did say I have a little hyperpigmentation here, so I'll also put it there. All right, so let's just tap this away like so. And you could use a brush if you want to. I like to use my hands because I find that the body heat really warms up the concealer and really presses it in. So if you ever have any fears of your concealer settling in any fine lines or pores, this is gonna be really helpful. Oh, thank you. Okay, so this is on the lids and as you could see, I'm using my ring finger. I don't know if anybody's noticed that. But I'm using my ring finger because it's less pressure than your pointer finger, which is a little more aggressive, you know? So the ring finger is a little bit softer a little less pulley and that's what that looks like see the difference let's put a little bit on this side and I'm just tapping I'm not pulling tapping 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 okay moving right along now that I have my foundation and my concealer on I am going to set with Charlotte's airbrush flawless finish and I use the shade number two medium Absolutely obsessed with this powder. Charlotte actually came out with powder because she hated powder. She is known as the queen of glow, but she couldn't come out with a makeup and skincare collection without one. So she created a hydrating powder. And I know that sounds confusing because powders are typically dry and matte. So Charlotte infused this powder with rose wax and almond oil. So it's actually quite hydrating but mattifying at the same time so as you can see my skin still has a little bit of glow but it's not sopping wet so there's a difference between having a light glow and looking sweaty we don't want to look sweaty we just want to look set and flawless hence the name airbrush flawless finish so again i use the shade medium it comes in four shades and as I mentioned earlier, Lizzo uses the same shade as me. So it's quite universal. She loves Charlotte. This is the shade too. It can be for someone my shade, a little bit fairer or, or deeper complexion. So feel free to try a few shades if you want to. The medium is one of our more popular ones, but the fair is also really popular. And then we also have a tan and a deep for all of you rich complexion folks out there. Okay, up next... Facial framework. So now that I'm a blank canvas, everything is sort of flat and it's lacking structure. Um, I did apply the powder before the bronzer and blush. Blush, surprisingly, is going to be the very last step and I'll share that story in a bit. So now that I'm mattified, I'm going to add a powder bronzer. So if I was using a cream bronzer, Rashika, I actually would... Um, oh, wait, who was asking? Kimberly. If I was using a cream bronzer, I would put the cream bronzer on before I powder. But I'm using a powder bronzer, the airbrush um, bronzer specifically, um, I'm going to apply this after my powder. So I'm going to swish in here and I'm using the shade um, number two medium as well. And I'm going to just go along the cheekbones. Something Charlotte always says is suck in the cheeks and follow the hollow. So you can see all of the shades that are available, four shades for this as well. Again, I'm using the medium, but I've also used the tan if I want to be extra California bronze, but I love this because it's, I'm sort of bronze touring, which is something that people have been doing lately. Bronzer essentially is supposed to give you a very sun-kissed look, like I've been out. So you can sort of run it all over the entire face, but I also really like to create structure on my face. So I am putting it in areas that are going to slim and recede. So if you want your forehead to look a little bit smaller, you can add a little more bronzer here. If you want your chins to look a little bit slimmer, you can add a little bit more bronzer here. 
If you want those gorgeous Kate Moss cheekbones, you can suck it in and add a little bit more bronzer here. You see that? I mean, I don't know if I look like Kate Moss yet, but the goal is set really high. <laughs> let's zhuzh the hair. I feel like, you know, when you're feeling cute, you're like, let's see, how does this look? So do you see how now I'm not a flat canvas? I have this gorgeous bronzed look. And then again, everything is skincare infused. So not only are you getting a gorgeous bronzer that's as big as your face and, and the packaging is stunning, um, it has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's hydrating. Even though it's a powder, it's not gonna look dry or feel cakey or tight. Um, it's gonna look quite hydrated and a soft glow to it, which is stunning. Okay, on to the best part of the show, in my opinion. It is the eyes. So I already said I have br um, brows done. So we're gonna jump into the look of the day, which is Charlotte's absolutely stunning rebel look. It's these gorgeous sort of golden yellow olive greens. And um, you know, like I said, my last name is Green. So I love this uh, eyeshadow palette for Special occasions. I mean, you could wear it during the day if you want to. Um, if you celebrate St. Patrick's Day, that's coming up soon. So this would be a really good option. I wonder if they planned that for this class. The timing is perfect. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I will show you step by step how we're going to use this. So the very first thing that right to the inside corner of my eye like so. And as I mentioned earlier, this has a built-in eyeshadow. Build this look throughout. So just a little bit of this in the corner. And keep in mind what you do to the top, you want to do to the bottom. So right now I'm just doing a little bit of this gold. Go in with the second shade, which is the enhanced shade. If you are forgetting the order that I'm applying these shadows, just know that there's instructions written on the back. So it'll say, prime. Oh, where's my finger? Prime enhance smoke pop. So you use it like a clock. Start here and you work your way clockwise. I don't know if it's opposite on what you're seeing on the camera, but let's see what questions do we have here. I'm going to go ahead and apply this while I talk. If you have green eyes, anything with the red tone is going to be beautiful. So like it could be sort of browns of red tone to it, or you can do what they call, um, so those are complementary shades, or you can also do green shadow. So the rubble would actually look really beautiful with green eyes. I find that people with green eyes often have red hair or they like to wear a lot of red. It's because they're complementary. So if you think of colors that are complementary, red and green, and what's red and green? I always think of like Christmas. Or if you think about colors like purple and yellow, like the Lakers, I don't know if that's, if you guys know the American teams for all of that, or orange and blue, things like that. So those colors always go really beautiful together so again if you have blue eyes orange shades will look nice or shades that have like an orangey undertone if you have green eyes anything with a red or a pinkish tone would look really beautiful brown eyes is a neutral shade so you guys can wear absolutely anything like me with my brown eyes and here I am wearing green um so I hope that helps out uh can I ask if a cream bronzer can be applied the same as the powder bronzer yes so Cream bronzer, you can apply in the same places, absolutely. Charlotte's uh, Beautiful Skin Bronzer's Cream, and you can apply it just the same. Um, okay, great question, Sylvina. So you have eyes similar to mine. So I have more of an almond-shaped eye, but a little bit of a hooded eye. So what I've done so far is I've applied this yellow shade in the inside corner, and I've applied this second shade, which is a medium tone, to the crease of my eye. So if you have a hooded eye like mine, that's where this part is a little bit heavier, and it kind of like falls over your lid a little bit. You want to make sure to focus the color in the crease, but blend it high and out. A lot of times people want to make it rounded here. At Charlotte, we actually blend it upwards and outwards, which we call her youth boosting eye shape. So do you see how instantly this side of my face already looks lifted because I've applied that color upwards and outwards? You do not have to close your eyes to do your shadows. As a matter of fact, you can kind of look directly in the camera or into your mirror and just apply it to the crease. And I'm only uh, sticking to sort of the halfway point. So I'm starting on the outside and I'm going about halfway to the center of my eyelid. So I'm going back and forth like a rainbow or a windshield wiper, just like that to apply the color. Then you wanna go in and you're going to focus a lot of the color on the outside corner and you wanna blend it upwards and outwards. If you've been to my classes in the past, 
you hear me refer to it as like, you're blowing out a candle, you're blowing out a candle and it's creating this like whisper of color that just sort of goes upwards and outwards, if that makes sense. Um, okay, perfect. I'm glad that makes sense. Sometimes I'm like, it makes sense to me. I don't know. But hopefully that makes sense to all of you as well. We're blending it, blending it. We're not stopping. We're going upwards and outwards. And don't worry if it gets too long or if you're like, ooh, that's too high. You can always go in. It's not, you know, a permanent marker. And there you go. So you can kind of see this really beautiful whew, elongated eye look. So now I'm going to go in with the smoke shade, which is this corner one. And I'm going to actually just go in with my blender brush again. And I'm going to focus this just on the corner outside because look at how dark it is. And I'm going to tap it, tap it, tap it. You can almost do like a sideways V, I like to say. So blend it upwards and outwards. Oh wait, that doesn't make sense. I'm blending it up and over more. Up and over. So you see how there's a little bit of depth? Oh, sounds like the gardener has decided to start doing some yard work. So apologies if you can hear all of this crazy sounds outside of my home. Okay, so a little bit up and a little bit over. A little bit up and a little bit over. So you see how now I have that smoky look? And again, because this is the rubble, I want it to look kind of... A little edgy right I know it's the daytime for me but I think it's the nighttime for a lot of you so now I'm gonna jump in with my smudger brush and like I said what you do to the top you do to the bottom so remember that yellow shade I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom corner like so and I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom corner and a little fun tip again if you've never been to these classes when you're doing the top of your eye you can put your chin up like this so that you don't have to close it and when you're doing the bottom of your eye chin down and look into the mirror so you don't have to close it so same brush now I'm gonna go into the second shade which is the enhanced shade and this is the one that I did on the top sort of crease of the eye and now I'm doing it on the bottom of the eye about halfway just like the top so do you see the difference look at how like sultry and sexy this eye is and then this one is just a little bit brighter but I kind of want that smoky look right so I'm starting in the outside corner and I'm just smudging this along. You can make it thicker, you can make it thinner, but look at the difference of that. Well, they're gorgeous. So now I'm going to get that smoke shade that I had put in the top corner, boop, 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 right here. And I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom corner. I got to be mindful of time because I swear to you, I'll keep you here all day if I could. So just the bottom corner because I did the top corner. Do you see how it just gave it that like sultry look? Now, last but not least, is the pop shade which is this one and Charlotte likes to use her finger so we've used two brushes now and a finger so let's grab a little bit more of this and I'm gonna go really close so you can see this is gonna go on the lid for that sort of like olive pop do you guys see that just gives it this really pretty shimmer if you're not a, a green eyeshadow person it's definitely worth trying because Looking at this, it's so neutral. It almost is like, is she wearing browns? Is she wearing sort of like cream colors? And it doesn't really scream like, oh my gosh, that woman is wearing green eyeshadow. What is her problem? No, it's kind of like a cute, fun, smoky eye for the day or even night. But I do want to make it a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to add a black eyeliner. And this is Charlotte's Bedroom Black. Check this out. It's really dark. It's a coal liner, so you're going to get the intensity of a, of a liquid liner, but with the easy application of a pencil. I really love these pictures that we have to sort of um, illustrate it. So, oops, I got a little bit of fallout, which don't worry because Charlotte's products are easy to take off just like that. And I'm going to just line my eye. I'm starting off in the corner because I have a hooded eye. I like to mostly just kind of work on the outside edge of the eye because I don't want to lose all that gorgeous space on the lid. So there's a little corner wing here. If you want to go all the way in, you absolutely can. Um, I'll kind of tiptoe to the center but not too much because I like the edge. And then to make it extra smoky, let's put a little bit on the bottom. Um, oh, thank you, Laura. I appreciate that. So I'm gonna grab that same liner and I'm gonna just put a little bit along the bottom. And before it dries, I'm gonna go in back with that smudger brush we used earlier 
and I'm just going to rub the liner to diffuse it so that it's not just a sharp line. Do you see how it makes it a little bit smokier? So I'm really giving, you know, that rubble look, the rubble vibe. You can make your rubble look appropriate for work if you want to. You can make it a little more dramatic if you are going out and you really want to channel the rubble. You can add more black liner to the top and the bottom. You can add false lashes if you want to. For me, I'm giving it sort of a medium rubble. Like maybe I'm giving you Debbie Harry from Blondie or maybe I'm giving you like an early Lady Gaga before it got too wild. You know? There we go. So now that I've got my liner on, I want to be mindful of time again, and we've got a couple more things to add. I'm going in with our full fat lash mascara. Love this. It has a five star laser cut brush. It kind of looks like a little star if you can see it. And this is going to do a few different things for you. So this is a great mascara to give you length, definition, curl, volume, and drama. I swear to you, if you wanted it to pump your gas, it probably could because it does everything, but don't try it. And I'm going to apply a little to the top and a little to the bottom. Get those corners. I like to use the tip of the brush. But look at the difference between these eyes. And you can do a really a few coats of this. What I love about this mascara is it's for the person that really likes to build their lashes. They like to put on coats and coats and coats because this can actually build up to almost a false lash look if you wanted to. If you like something that's um, a little more of a wet mascara and a quick results sort of mascara, then you'll want to use our Legendary Lash Mascara. If you want something that's going to be good for like 24 hour vertical lift, like let's say you have super straight lashes. Oops, look, I made a little boo-boo here. Then you want to use our Pillow Talk um mascara for that so you guys don't know how hard I'm working at not opening my mouth while applying this it's a skill okay so I don't know you guys let me know in the chat are we liking how the eyes are looking I'm going to jump to the lips while we have a couple minutes I'm using our iconic nude lip cheat we love her I like to call it I feel like this is a very JLo lip liner you know how JLo always wears sort of like a caramel sort of color on her lips with a pink lipstick. So these are meant to resize and reshape your lips. So don't be scared to overdraw, cause I'm not. Like, I love this because you can see this viral trend that's going on where people are sort of contouring their lips with like, you know, contour wands. But what's cool about this lip liner is it looks like a little darker than your lip shade so you can really overdraw like I'm doing and no one will know because it kind of looks like a shadow so now that I have the iconic nude oh <laughs> I'm glad you're learning something okay so then we're gonna use very Victoria this is a classic like look at how beautiful this is I like to think that this is pillow talk sort of older sister so if you have pillow talk but you want something a little bit, maybe like a little bit more brown. I would say this one. Look at that. That's cute. I like that. Last but not least, in the lips, we're going to do Hall of Fame. Do not sleep on Hall of Fame. I have never gotten more compliments than I wear when I wear this gloss because it's sort of like clear, but with a tint of color. So your lips look actually extra juicy. This is creamy, not sticky. I mean, I'll wear it by itself. I am wearing it with obviously a lipstick and a liner today, but by itself, it looks like you have lip injections in the most respectful way. Like they just look so juicy. So last but not least is I'm going to use First Love Blush. So <laughs> when you look at this, you're like, that's not gonna show up on Rashina. But I'll tell you what, it's actually really stunning. And it's really, really gorgeous. I mostly use this on very fair um, complexion uh, clients. However, I'm quite tan right now and we're going to see if it shows up. So Charlotte likes to swish and pop the center. And let's discover this together, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about you, 
but that's showing up. Let's put a little bit more. You can, you can stipple it on or you can swipe it on. So this is the cheek to cheek in first love. So again, if you are a fair lady or gentleman and you're looking for a blush that's going to not look too red or too brown or too peach, but just like the perfect flush shade, this is for you. But even if you're tan like me, you're still getting a good amount of color. Let's put a little bit on the nose. Let's zhuzh, let's take a final look at the Rebel. Let me know in the chat right now, how are we liking this look? It's a soft green for every day. It works beautiful on brown eyes. It's gonna be beautiful on green eyes, hazel eyes especially, blue eyes, absolutely. If you have eyes, these will be stunning on you. I did a little bit of a black liner. You can do the top only. You can do the bottom only if you want to. I like to do the top and the bottom. But this is the look for the class. Again, the class is all about how to get the rebel look. And if you are interested in learning more tips and tricks, feel free to follow me on Instagram. LL will add my handle in the chat. It's at Rashina Green Artistry. I would love to know what products you're loving. I would also love to know what classes you'd be interested in seeing in the future. Oh, you guys are loving it. I really appreciate it. Well, that concludes our class today. Again, how to get the rebel look with me, Rashina Green. Follow me on Instagram at Rashina Green Artistry. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye.